Let's look briefly and quickly at the process of setting up a security association between two hosts using IPSEC. In part two, we'll break it down and look at setting up IPSEC policies and security associations in more detail. Let's configure host A, hostname Galactica. Let's take a quick look at setting up a basic security association and IPSEC policy between two computers. So on computer A, the Galactica hostname, I'm going to load the tool gpedit msc to access the local group policy editor. Under computer configuration, I want to choose Windows settings, security settings, and then IP security policies on local computer. I'll expand this so you can see everything. And then I want to right click and say create IP security policy. I'm going to click next. And I'm just going to call this the hostname And for the description, I'll do the same. And I'm going to go ahead with the default. I'm not going to activate the default response rule. I'm going to say edit properties. I want to add a new rule. I'm going to create a new IP security rule. I'm going to do transport mode, not tunnel mode, all network connections. This time I want to add a filter list because none exists yet. I'm just going to call it the host name. And every IP filter list needs at least one IP filter. So before I click on OK, I want to click Add to add an IP filter. Next. And I'll call this the Galactic IP Filter. And I'm going to do any IP address for source, any IP address for destination. Protocol type will be any. And then I'm going to click Finish. OK. And then I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to check this radio button. I'm going to click Next. I want to specify a filter action. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to say Galactica Filter Action. I'll use the same for the description. Next, I'm going to say negotiate security. Next, do not allow unsecured communication, integrity and encryption. Next, and finish. Now I'm going to select my filter action. I'm going to click next. I'm going to choose an authentication method. So I'm going to use a pre shared key. And I'm going to use I am a Cylon will be my key. And then finish and OK. And then, now once I've created my IP security policy, I simply need to assign it. So I'm going to right click and say assign, and it's assigned. Computer A is now set up. So now I need to go set up computer B. Let's configure host B, hostname Pegasus. Now I'm going to set up my IPSEC policy and security association on the second computer. And I'm going to use the same tool, gpedit.msc, to load the local group policy editor. I want to go to computer configuration, Windows settings, security settings. And then I want to go and select IP security policies on local computer. Right click, say create IP security policy. Next, I'm just going to title this the host name, Pegasus. And I'll do the same for the description. Next, go with the default. So I'm not going to activate the default response rule. I want to leave edit properties selected. I'm going to add a new IP security rule. I'm not going to do tunnel mode or uh, transport mode instead. I'm going to do all network connections. I'm going to click add to add an IP filter list because one does not exist. And let's go through and do Pegasus. And I'm going to go ahead and select this and paste here. Now I need at least one IP filter for my IP filter list. So before you click on OK, make sure you add that. And Pegasus IP filter. And I'm going to go next. And for source address, any IP, destination, any IP, protocol, any, finish. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to check that radio button, click next. I need to specify a filter action. I'm going to go here and I'm just going to say Pegasus filter action. And next, I'm going to negotiate security. And next, do not allow secure, unsecure communication. Leave that checked. Integrity and encryption, leave that checked. Click finish. I'm going to select the Pegasus filter action. Next, I'm going to choose an authentication method. I'm going to use the same pre-shared key that I used previously and then finish and OK. And now I just need to right click and assign the policy. And at this point, I have two compatible IPSEC policies and I can set up a security association and have secure traffic between our computers. So let's test it out. Let's test it. So now that we have compatible IPSEC policies between the Pegasus and the Galactica, that is computer A and computer B, let's test it out. I'm going to open a command prompt and we're going to generate some ICMP version 4 traffic with the ping command. And if the IPSEC policies are incompatible, they will refuse to negotiate security and they won't communicate without a security association. So from the Pegasus, and here's my IP, I'm 201, 
I'm going to ping the Galactica. Notice I'm getting four echo replies back, and its IP address is 200. So I'm going to just open up a management console, MMC, and I'm going to add two snap ins. And I want to do um, IP security monitor, and I'm going to do IP security policy manager for the local machine. And really, what I want is IP security monitor, but I'm going to go down here and I'm going to open up main and quick mode SA for security associations. And if I go down here and notice there's a security association that's been generated between the Pegasus 201 and the Galactica 200 because they have a compatible IPsec policy and they're using they're both using the same pre-shared key as a means of authentication, in this case I am a Cylon.